Hakuna cha sublime no hapa sio kwa particular what you wish you want is what we are kila mara kushock the cat and the shot deep you want how sick you want ni aje sana kwa sana album reviews karibu sana kwa another album review asante sana kwa kuwa hapa kama ni mara yako ya kwanza karibu sana to the channel kuna this and many more videos that unaweza check out kama we ni a returning subscriber ama viewer kama kawaida shukran sana for the continued support bado tuko kwa MWE music writer exercise an idea iliyoanzishwa na an American music critic anaitwa Gary Suarez back in 2015 the concept ni skiza an album each day of february yenye hujawaskiza before alafu andika a tweet about it apart from doing that last year nilianza kujichocha na kufanya first listen reviews za kila project ndaskiza for this exercise nimefanya MWE since 2019 huni mwaka wangu wa nne kuifanya leo ni day 12 12 February 2022 sai ni 21 21 easy videos na the release of the corresponding days of March so kama unai watch siku yenye na premiere asante sana for being that one person shukran sana for being here album nimetoka kusikiza a few moments ago ni theme leech ya Idia Chieng unaweza kuona unamjua from Nairobi City Ensemble or maybe not knowing my demographic as i've been stating over the past reviews za hi wiki an afro fusion musician ni actress pia na an activist in his solo debut yake akiwa part of Nairobi City Ensemble walikuwa na previous albums prior to ye kufanya a solo debut tukifanya ngazi reviews za criteria huwa na aspects tatu production and musicality concept and idea and the content and the themes of a project this is a banger album that manages kutumia fusion to its advantage na ku make exciting engaging na creative either through sounds ama kucheza na aspects za instrumentation something similar to what nili note jana niki review album ya Salio Yugi Uromo na speaking of ziko na similarities that ni experience while listening to the album ya Idia Cheng obviously kuna the classic banger moments that unapata hapa the climatic musical moments the catchy bass lines the lead guitar riffs the overall banger sound tunaweza zungumzia pia luga the luo that iko predominant kwa hii album kisha me sprinkle kingereza na kiswahili another element ya banger ni storytelling na most of his songs zina tell stories hizi feature zote zina speak to the genre ya the album as well as the creative aspects that nimesema zinaifanya an exciting listen nimeongelea lugha na inaanza from the title of the album theme leech theme ni a forest ama jungle then leech iko na double meaning either kitu marvelous ama kitu bewildering the album title ina bring in your aspect ya duality kuna hizi songs that highlight the nature of good alafu kuna hizi songs that carry the nature of bad na evil lakini tukiangalia the song itself yenye ni the title track that is song number 2 coming in after the intro yenye ni a stripped down song tunasikia sounds za bad zikichap ushering us into a jungle setting alafu yeye tu ku kuimba briefly akitroduce kwa the world of the album aki call upon god afanye uh, vitu fulani linda watu fulani wapatie this and that and that same thing ana i bring back tukifika mwisho wa the album nyardande ngome nyiko dedicated to madhake ni the song before the last one bringing back your idea ya nyasaye na ubongo nyakalaga aki ongea na god vile alifanya kwa the introduction then after that opening tuna get now kwa the title track na the song in itself ina capture the nature of bad the idea of evil more than the idea of good if at all even taking that as the title track na nimesema mara kadhaa kwa hizi reviews title tracks ndio hutupatia the overall idea of an album na huwa tuna focus more on the same juu hiyo ndio 
the springboard ya the musical experience msanii anatupatia having that in mind vile nimesema kuna a dual nature ya the word leech na therefore ya the album that tunasikia through these different songs tuna expectia dia evil na negative more than the good and the beautiful based on the title track lakini that isn't the case easy songs 16 songs an hour and 15 minutes long it's too long too long zina capture easy ngoma that fall under both categories the title track by itself alo ngoma ka jakongo wololoi zina fall under your category garang that a dedication to the late garang zina fall under the same alafu kona sweetina dodo heramudo hera the last song that closes which is a rendition of heramudo ya mwisho ni a quite version born to be nyardande that ni mention dedication to the mother zina fall under the opposite side of the album so na hisi kama the title track ingekuwa able to deliver your duality then the album ingekuwa ime work completely na the concept ingekuwa fleshed out na executed to a t lakini with what nimesema in mind tunapata haijafanya the same largely how this na ku executed ni songs that are mostly social songs kama ni ngoma zinazoongelea social interactions na societal relations ama kama ni songs that are dedicated to love ones amo kona socio political songs so largely in your experience yeah the album sweetina one of ed's popular songs in a folk yo category ya love songs dedicated to a partner nyat dande a love song dedicated to the mother hera mudo na hera same category kisha ngoma kama dodo na born to be focusing on empowerment ya girls na women na nilihisi when born to be came ilikuwa in a sound redundant in terms of the thematic concern juki alifanya na dodo angemaliza that theme i execute completely for that song bado making comments on society social interactions and similar ideas kamfube which na feature ambassador inagusia the same ikiongelea concept ya kufanya kazi na ku work hard garang socio political featuring jkp kuna point where ed anaongea kwa the song similar technique ametumia kwa born to be one those moments zilikuwa zina feel unnecessary it's usually better kama the song itajizungumzia secondly hiyo segment yenye anaongelesha sudanese people akiwaambia sudan move on move on life moves on it felt weird especially being a foreigner huwezi ambia watu vile wata handle their grief na uwe mtu akuambia move on ili hisi nika ana dictate vile wata grieve na moment yao ya ku move on jkp i think ni ya sudanese at based on the language alikuwa anazungumza also still on language kuna baganda kwa kamfube apart from the luo kiingereza na kiswahili since jkp ako featured na presume ya kukuwa hapo ni kama ali okay na alipena a green light to whatever ed alikuwa anasema but still haibadilishi vile na hisi kuhusu the sentiments ed ali share kwa that segment yenye ali choose kuongea still on social commentary uko na ngoma ka jakongo that inaongelea uyu alcohol addict na vile imemfanya kwa any responsible father na familia imetapaka alafu kuna a switch kwa the instrumentation to a climatic more energetic segment and part of the song in a tell story ya huyu mtoto ameenda majuu amesoma lakini haja give back to the family as was expected so in a comment on the person as well as education as well as commenting on family situations na societal expectations as well as touching on the economic conditions of the society na familia yenye ilikuwa ina expect na walikuwa wanatarajia wasaidiwe one thing that nime notice nikisikiza hii album na album zime sikiza hii wiki ni going back to time and listening to them the vocalist ndio alikuwa the center of the album na nasema even ikirifa to how the vocals zimekuwa produced just basic approach to production 
verses utasikia the vocalist then kuna few instances where what harmonize in between the verses lakini majorly the harmonies ziki come in ni kwa segments of the chorus nimeona that technique ama that approach kwa production is something similar referring to these albums that nimekuwa nikisikiza hii wiki considering that ni albums za the 2000s lakini acha ni mention ED amekuwa creative kwa harmonizing yake and the layering inaipatia a fuller feeling alafu the production kwa the album vile nimesema ilikuwa creative na exciting the instrumentation kwa the album add so much flavor na creative twists engaging moments kwa your experience hata for instance ngoma kai hiyo garang that nimeongelea kuna a segment after azungumze vile ana harmonize and ana layer vocals zake amefanya beautifully aliongeza vocals at the exact point when liko na wish there is more angefanya to play around with that segment but even before that kuna well kwa shamba ku harmonize na kupatia a mood na intensity to the song then that same technique ya ku harmonize ametumia through different songs vocals zake kwa verses being the center such a commanding voice alafu for highlight ya the instrumentation through the songs wololoi ilikuwa na funky elements that harkens back to kazi zake as part of Nairobi City Ensemble yoni sound walikuwa wana incorporate kwa their music theme leech ilikuwa na orutu alo ilikuwa na nyatiti then the orutu inakuwa predominant especially towards the last part of the album we were we na nyardande to be specific those two songs zilikuja after rieko ngima yenye nilifeel ilikuwa na a weak instrumentation apart from the lead that gives it some life similar to alo the keys on that song were terrible lakini the nyatiti na the lead na other aspects of the instrumentation zilifanya alo exciting na bearable now kwa rieko ngima nilihisi the beat didn't do it at all lakini after that uko na we were we yenye the rutu merges beautifully with the soundscape of the instrumentation the drums sit back the song imetulia the same continues kwa nyardande the rutu in a fuse amazingly na the percussion na the guitars and those two songs production wise ni highlights then nilikuwa na jambi i really hope this is how we are closing the album that the next song that follows is even higher than the momentum that he make was set alafu hera the quieter version of hera mudo inangusha the ending of this album vibaya sana in the release ya 206 sijui how quieto ilikuwa na sound then the keys in a saunika mtu mwenye bado ana learn beat making and how they look paired with the drums that ending was a weak ending after the momentum na ba yenye ilikuwa set na the previous two songs that nimeongelea na apart from the production thematically conceptually in i feel even further another aspect of the production production that ni kwa na mention nikianza nikisema this is a creative way na a fusion that imefanywa in an engaging manner ni the horn segments i found the horn segments to be intriguing na absorbing ni predominant through the entire album and that was an amazing creative choice similar to the dual nature of the title tunaiona ikioka thematically kwa the songs lakini pia tunaiona ikia pia kwa the overall feeling of the album kuna high highlights na kuna low dips sijui kama umesikiza hii album no my demographic as i've been stating hii wiki na shuku jaisikiza <laughs> if you're here from an older generation than mine tell me what you thought of this album time will skiza come skia recently any 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 sentiments you have regarding the album niambie kama una consider kuisikiza enda uisikize come back niambie maoni yako kuhusu kwa comment section asante sana kwa kutazama thank you so much for your time kuna other videos under this exercise ya homework consider kuzicheck out ningependa sana kuko na another video shukran sana kwa wakati wako